hello friends welcome back let's look at this problem if 1 by 2 comma 2 is 1 extremity of a focal part of the parabola y square equal to 8x find the corners of other extremity so first thing what i will do is i will take y square equal to 8x if 1 by 2 comma 2 is 1 extremity of a focal chord of the parabola y square equal to 8x find the coordinates of other extremity first y square equal to 8x is the starting point we know that y square equal to 8x then the parabola will be opening to the right side so let us say the parabola is like this that's a parabola y square equal to 8x we also know from that that the vertex is at 0 comma 0 and we also know that the focus is at 2 comma 0 so let us say that is yes we know that focus is at 2 comma 0 because y square equal to 8x is of the form 4ax y square equal to 4ax comparing we have 4a equal to 8 or a equal to 2 so once i know a equal to 2 i know the distance between s and m is nothing but a so that is 2 comma 0 now we have been given that 1 by 2 comma 2 is a focal chord extremity of a focal chord what's the meaning of that the meaning of that is the meaning of that is 1 by 2 focal chord means focal chord means two points a line segment joining two points on the parabola and passing through focus is called as focal chord we know chord means line segment joining two points on the parabola if it also passes through focus then we call it as focal chord so we know 1 by 2 comma 2 is one extremity we have to find out the other extremity let us say that is equal to x1 comma y1 we have to find out that point so what is our approach now our approach will be we have to first we know that this point also satisfies the equation y1 square equal to y square equal to 8x is satisfied by this particular point another thing we know is the slope of this line will be the same if i take let us say the point is let us say this point is x and let us say this point is y we know slope of x's is also equal to slope of sy and we also know that y1 square equal to 8x1 so that these are the two equations which we will leverage and we will try to find out the solution so first we know y1 square equal to 8x1 so we can write down that y1 square is equal to 8x1 this is my first equation second equation i will say that slope of x is equal to slope of sy because xy is one line i can say m m is for slope m of x is equal to m of sy that means what is slope of x is nothing but 2 minus 0 divided by 1 by 2 minus 2 is equal to slope of sy which is nothing but y1 divided by x1 minus 2 we can simplify that it will be 2 by minus 3 by 2 that is nothing but minus 4 by 2 by minus 3 by 2 that is minus 4 by 3 is equal to y1 by x1 minus 2 or can I write it as 3y1 is equal to minus 4x1 plus 8 but 3y1 equal to minus 4x1 plus 8 we also know that y1 square equal to 8x1 so we can write down 3y1 is equal to so that i can find out the value of y minus 4x1 is nothing but minus of 8x1 by 2 so can i write down minus of 4x1 is y1 square by 2 plus 8 you can simplify this equation we'll have 6y1 is equal to minus y1 square plus 16 
this is a quadratic equation we can write it as y1 square plus 6y1 minus 16 is equal to 0 that is nothing but equal to y1 plus 8 into y1 minus 2 is equal to 0 and that means y1 equal to either minus 8 or y1 equal to 2 y1 cannot be 2 because we know that x is e x y is not a x y is not a horizontal or vertical line if y1 equal to 2 then it will be a vertical line so y1 is not equal to 2 and also you can see that as we are moving in this line y coordinate is slowly coming down to 0 and then it will go to negative because the line is slant it cannot be a vertical line so y1 equal to 2 is ruled out y1 equal to minus 8 if y1 equal to minus 8 then x1 is nothing but equal to x1 is nothing but equal to y1 square by 8 that is 64 divided by 8 that is equal to 8 how we got this this is coming from x1 equal to y1 square divided by 8 because y1 square equal to 8x so x1 equal to 64 by 8 that means the coordinates of this point are 8 comma minus 8 Also, if we consider y1 equal to 2, we will be getting x equal to 1 by 2. So, that's nothing but the point which we already know, 1 by 2 comma 2. So, that we already know. So, we are interested in the other one that is nothing but 8 comma minus 8. So, let's have a recap of this. If 1 by 2 comma 2 is one extremity of a focal chord of the parabola y square equal to 8x, find the coordinates of other extremity. Focal chord is a chord of a parabola which is passing through focus. That means the slope of the line will be consistent throughout the line. Now, we know that 1 by 2 comma 2 is one extremity of the focal chord. We also know focus equal to 2 comma 0 with the help of y square equal to 8x y square equal to 4yx, 4yx is a parabola which will open to the right side. So, a equal to 2, that means focus equal to 2 comma 0. Now, other point we don't know, we will take it as x1 comma y1. We have two equations, one y1 square equal to 8x1 because x1 comma y1 satisfies the parabola and also it is also part of the line xy. The slope of x is equal to slope of xy from which we are able to get two equations we simplify them we get a quadratic equations we solve them we get two values by y1 one is already known point so we go to the other one that is nothing but 8 comma minus 8